Hey, what do they both have for an encore? It'll be Texas Rio Grande Valley to start the survey. Emiliano will do just that. BYU, a nice start for them. And Aaron Force and kind of heart of the team as she was really kind of overpowered. 19 kills against number five Pitt. That Claudia Lupescu serves it. A little bit of a softer touch this time. Hiapo is in the middle of it all, and so is Aaron Livingston again. Two-time All-West Coast Conference performer. If you weren't with us yesterday, it was monumental for a lot of reasons. BYU beat fifth-ranked Pitt, but also their first game as a member of the Big 12 Conference. And uh, we will be talk, talk, probably talking a lot uh, about it, but with Pryor and Livingston, both on either side of Lee. Came in here is the team under the radar, right? You see the ranking of BYU Pitt, Montana, obviously the host, but the Vaqueros did last year was phenomenal. Up uh, to, to Rio Grande, but you know, they've got some larger opponents now in, in, uh, in BYU and Pitt coming up over the next two days. And, but I think if they can ride some momentum and use their athleticism, they can really challenge some teams. Great job by Hiapo to get that one across the net. Vaquero set up one yesterday, but today coming out of the gate firing. Tried to paint the line on that serve. He said it's Bauer setting it up, and BYU slams it down. After a bad pass, sided out very efficiently, and had a really strong will throughout the game. 11 kills for Little. Good job on the receive yesterday. She swings it from the left side. Scrappiness from the Vaqueros, and they find this. The, the touch, the out-of-system play, still being able to transition, working hard for those swings. Assis was so well-rounded in her game last night against Montana. Nine kills, she had four aces. Lee, sure we'll see plenty of her as well, but Claire Little led the team in kills in their scrimmage. Played well yesterday. First contact a little to the right side they go, and there's Whitney McHugh and Larina. This will be Hannah Billiter. Saw her go on a run from the service line yesterday. Bauer will go to the left side. Powerful swing, dug up nicely. Rio Grande Valley on the attack, and it gets past. He's going to try and make that off blocker move. Luana Emiliano serves it, and what a Swing across that sideline at about 13 feet. That is just gnarly. Mia. Mia Lee in the middle. Organizing herself, keeping her shoulders forward, her hips underneath her, really strong with those last two steps, and she has just been ex exceptional um, for BYU. So There's the first ace of the afternoon. They won sets two, three, and four, and dare I say in convincing fashion, 25-16. That many service errors coming from BYU through the first two matches. Luke. There goes Livingston. Emiliano in the middle, dug up beautifully. Battle there, Mia Lee forces UTRGV on the attack. That was past yesterday, but with Pitt knocking them out and ending their season, you could tell how much it meant to BYU. That might have been the X factor in the entire match, but now the response. Now you've got the rest of it. Mia Lee to the service line. High set, Livingston will get it to Bauer, right back to Livingston. Oh my, get the radar gun out. Bit out of system, Kate Pryor tried to. To kind of put BYU a little bit out of system and then they weren't able to get a good swing and Pryor airs on the down ball. More defense mode here for BYU. That she normally, that she has in the first couple of swings and that one right into the center of the block. That one was Aria McCumber. Transfer from Washington State, graduated from WSU with a business administration degree, working on yet another one, BYU. They're cooking already here as they try and extend this lead and keep control of this first set. McCumber. A lot of time for Bauer, sets it up, McHugh and Laird. UTRGV. Yeah, it, it really has, and it's, uh, it's something that BYU really has to kind of tighten up on because it, you know, you, you have your first matches. You, you Haven't seen a five-setter yet in Missoula. Thought we might have had a couple opportunities yesterday when the matchups were pretty even. BYU took care of business in four. UTRGV 
Made easy work in three. There's a tip. Santos, preseason whack. Hit 336. Knows how to work the middles, always gets some good seams and good matchups. Phenomenal setup by Gunnar Bauer. There's one. Goes on, really, I think, in this first tournament and these first couple weeks, it's about each team maintaining some sense of stability as they're really finding out who they are. McCumber will get it over. UTRGV sets up the attack. And it, it, it did go long. It was pretty close, but it was long. Bauer goes to Mia Lee. Great job digging that up by Assis. Battle back and forth. Little sets it up. Livingston dug up Perez. She's there. There's the block attempt. There for the Vaquero point. Chiapo sets it up for Livingston. That was blocked. She, how one that's talked about a ton, but she had eight kills on ten swings last night. Livingston and to kind of tip my cap right now to the Vaqueros that they are blocking very well and swinging really fearlessly. The blocking numbers are already in favor of them as a lead three to zero. From the middle, the four point margin for Bauer. The West Coast Conference player up just in set one. Jump serve coming. That's Nadine Zek. We did not see her yesterday. Serving specialist, and she finds the line. One here in this first set. We sure do. It's 20 to 19, but. Challenge, but it also provided enough of a break to ice that server and stop the run. They set it up in the middle. The athleticism of Mia Lee stops the point and turn around out of transition. Livingston will look to go on a run here. BYU three points away and defense the focus this year for UTRGV. Their offense elite a season ago. Claire Little, freshman slowed down. The attack comes in the middle. On the right, she just kind of pulled off the net. I think she got, uh, and, and probably should have had her hands up there. Intensity ratcheting up a little bit. It's 22 21. The block, and what a combination. One of the freshmen, one of six in the class this year. He's had a fair share of service errors that have given him a lot of easy side outs, but they've also passed really well and been able to get some gaps and spread some things out. Useful here for BYU to close out the first set. Emiliano in the middle, the block from B. Part of it. This is our fourth match of six for the Ellison Invitational. BYU starting with the serve. Good job by UTRGV to keep. Bit of a defensive first contact as Bauer again will try and find the corner. The Caros trying to find their way. And that was a fortunate. Going to try and rebound here. To try and go up 2-0, but the Pacaros just won't seem to go away. Great job by the Cougars to get that one across. And Hiapo in the middle of it again. Livingston. Up by Emiliano. Left side attack this time. BYU keeps it alive. Hiapo gets it across. Long extended top 20 teams. The extended rallies were a little bit few and far between. We've seen plenty of it so far here this afternoon. And very effective through there. Came from that great dig to start off the play. The block goes deep. McCumber able to save it. Another block at the net. And it's just too much. Talked a lot about BYU's mindset coming into this, right? How about for UTRGV? They're coming off a great season, a big time win, and now all of a sudden they've got a chance. Ready to serve the libero. Zexa. Tiapo, redshirt senior out of Gilbert, Arizona. A good job. One in. That ball sailed. Tiapo in rhythm. At the service line. 
Paris Key will get it across. And Mia Lee in the middle. I think we said scrappy a bunch to describe UTRGV. In this point, they kept it alive, but coming to lifts in that bit, B, bit pit BYU match that a little contentious, let's just say, with where the match was at at that point. But these two have been consistent. Whitney Bauer will do it. Over 3,600 assists in her storied career at BYU. The set comes to the outside. Bauer defensive on it as Aaron Livingston takes a run at it. And chance to tool the ball, giving them a chance to, to try and grab those kills out there. First contact. UTRGV struggling a little bit in this set. That one was a right there, and I think that is the right call. 8-6, BYU in front. Bauer out of Nampa, Idaho. Her sister also on the team. Size with the block that she's going up against, and she's really holding her own over there offensively. Perez. Subs come in and out. Livingston, a unanimous preseason All-Big 12 pick. Married to BYU defensive back Hayden Livingston. That they feel they want. You can tell it looks a little bit uncomfortable on that other side. Bauer to Pryor. The block attempt just goes off over there on that side as they're struggling to try and finish this. Mia Lee is going for the back corner. Defensive first touch and the swing will do the honors. UTRGV only played nine players yesterday. We've already seen more. Here in this matchup against BYU, as the Cougars get want to make you try and pronounce her full name. 40 letters long, goes by Aria for short. Yeah, I'm not doing that. <laughs> no. <laughs> Bauer in the middle, good job by Gianni to poke it across. They go to the other side this time. One of the biggest uh, matchup advantages that they have as we saw little um, exit the game for the back row. Billiter to serve. That one, the 17th ranked team in the country. Coming off the win against Pitt yesterday to start the Ellison Invitational. Strongest field to ever come to Missoula. UTRGV has already proved they belong, but the reigning WAC champion has the possession. That was a little bit of a delayed call. Shows you how close it was, but Served on a four to nothing run when she was at the service line last time. Put up by Assis, blocked by Mia Lee. To the right side they'll go. Hit up by Billiter, Mia Lee in the middle again for a kill. Both are going to be just crucial ways that they can be able to, to keep control of, uh, of this match against the Vaqueros. Right side, Paris Key, who has been quiet yet Italy. Didn't play against Montana yesterday, and that is an ace. Grab the momentum, headed into the timeout. Next point, we'll have one. Great serve from Zek. Outside Livingston, batted up by Zek. It falls to the ground in the strongest field to ever play volleyball. Here in Missoula, fifth ranked Pitt, 17th ranked BYU, and the reigning WAC champions in Texas, Rio Grande Valley, out of the timeout. And to get the one-handed set, but uh, just wouldn't work. Lee able to get the solo block to start the start coming after the break. Livingston leading the way. She has it's eight, eight, that's eight points right there that uh, BYU has given up just from the service line. Lee was hanging in midair, but so it seems like UTRGV, they've always made sure to stay in an arm's length. Can they seize the lead? And as I say that, you want it to be. But right now, they still have control over this. Like, it's still, it's still Rio Grande that's it's trying to knock on the door here. And with the other service error. The BYU fan section and heard the wrath a little bit, but Aaron Livingston has. Lee starts it off. Assis in the middle. Battle won by BYU for the time being, and again, tied up at 18. UTRGV has been here before. Bauer outside Pryor, and the block attempt goes wide. BYU no going to do that. There's a lot of fight in this team. Ton of respect and credit to the Vaqueros, the way they've come and played here in Missoula. Side. 
Bauer bailed on that ball, giving the middle a single. He's not fading at the same time. The Vaqueros can't quite seize control either. Zek, soft touch this time. BYU out of system, they still get it across. In the middle, Emiliano, great job by Hiapo. She digs it out and give her a steady set of balls before she goes into the back because she's the one that can do it for you. McHugh and Larinus, there's some great bio information on her. We'll get to it when it's not such a stress. TRGV at 185. Cougars three points away. Zach on the outside and it sneaks past. McHugh and Larinus on her way down as she was unsealing from the top of the tape. Big point here for momentum. McCumber gets it up. Bauer slips it across. Got bailed out by the net call. Hiapo at 23-20. Lays out for that. Bodies all over the place. This has been so much fun to watch. Another good dig results in that seam. Jump serve coming and an untimely Rizula. Fittingly, it's Whitney Bauer at the service line. Set up by Emiliano. Blocked at the net, and the Cougars lead to out the most fired up they've been all match long, going, hey, let's put it down and try and get this thing done in three. We'll see if it starts. You can just tell the inner time that we've seen her, six foot five middle blocker. He's right there in the middle with her team leading by two. The cross court goes wild. The Vicaro's down two sets to nothing. Are they going to be able to continue that fight and, and make survive despite having 15 service errors? They have nine here today against UTRGV. Cross court swing for Livingston. Soft touch. Great effort. The overpass gives it to UTRGV. They go to the right side and it's blocked. Livingston. In the middle of it, that one will find the off the off the right shoulder, being able to snap that line through there. And Nate right servers, that hey, you're back there. Go ahead and rip that ball. We'll take your ace. We'll take the air. Whatever you got, go ahead and get it. I love that turn. Three two BYU in front. Bauer goes to the other side. Claire Little to the wax setter of the year. And Emiliano and BY Montana as well. Four to two, Cougar. Emiliano sets it up for the right side, dug up nicely by Bauer. The left side swing, Claire Little, a little bit of power on that. The scrappiness of the Vaqueros, not over the top of the Vaquero block. Make it. Perez with the serve, easy setup, but into the angle. Perez drifts that one. Kamele Hiapo gets it across, left side swing, and that was poetry emotion. Cougars up by only one. This has been a tight match. 25-22, 25-21, the first two sets. Hiapo, left side, little hit. That one would have been close. Livingston saved it in, and Claire Little. Little, a freshman from Winchester, California. Emiliano in the middle. Asis set up. Be able to get around, because when you're hitting with less angle, um, you, you have to have great feet to be able to get that ball around the block and move and just a great job by the Vaquero Swings. Tough pass set up, but the effort by McCumber keeps it alive for BYU. Well played point. Here is Bauer to Little again, and Little finishes it off. Younger sister of Whitney Bauer. First time seeing her on the court here this weekend. They'll set it up for her on the left side. Has to adjust. Bit of a poor pass. Nadine Zek is blocked at the net. Billiter serving, and there's an ace, BYU. Builder trying to go on a roll. And Zek says, hey, we're not. Once again, heavy arm. 
Bauer sets up her sister, Whitney to Eden, and that's the, the Bauer family. This is great. Their mom was an outside hitter at BYU. Their dad was a guard on the basketball team in the late 90s. So this is an athletic family to have them. The total blocks for the team now, nine to three, BYU starting to separate themselves there and, and, uh, and really get some presence. Get some underclassmen, some extra playing time here in this third set as they look to slam the door. And on cue, there is Kemavor. Good job by Hiapo. Across they will go. That was Billiter. And too easy. He's a force. And I tell you what, as a freshman, watch out for her as she's just getting her career started and on cue. And, and that's, where, that's where the net violation came. Nadine Zek, the green light special. Going for the jump serve, back tap, and is James Madison in the NCAA tournament. To BYU defeated before, and how about that? Nadine Zek, able, how big was that challenge? It was going to be 14 to nine. Overpass UTRGV on the attack this time. They get it just over the block attempt. Quick set in the middle, batting it across is Kemavor. Outside they'll go, right side swing, and UTR. Zek, that would have found the back line, a third ace. Looking to make it six. Dug up in the back row, Billiter will set up the Asian for her. She was involved, she appeared in 21 matches last year. That family lineage playing on the same court as your sister. Pretty darn special. Cross court. Go, need to make sure that Rio Grande Valley doesn't go on another one. Perez, she's ready for it. Libero to Libero. Outside Little, it's blocked. And the Vaqueros. All the same. 16-14. And the Vaqueros create some breathing room. This is the point in which they've struggled. Good job by Livingston. Side little drives it in. Any angle on it, but it did drop a lot lower in her arm swing than I think she wanted it to. It's an eight to one run. All sparked by the challenge. Overturn, make it not this weekend. Perez trying to continue the run out of the timeout. Whitney Bauer sets it back up to Little. Great dig in the back row. The scrappiness continues for the Vaqueros. Little will try it again. It's dug up by Perez. Outside a cease. The diving effort by Hiapo and UTR. 10 of 11 points. And the libero, the junior Perez, has been at the service line. Bauer hits it high, and that is. With that ball, the pace that she wanted, right in the spot she wanted, she's pretty much automatic if she can find that spot. Hiapo, in the middle they go. And, uh, getting up for the quick, hitting that gap in there for the, for the kill. Paris Key, the overpass is here and see if they can get a little bit of momentum, but uh, Texas Rio Grande is looking like they're going to be able to push a set. That's a through these next couple rotations through the front row. Top 30 in the country in hitting percentage a season ago. As Santos. Bauer, Little. And somehow that would have been in. Bauer goes across, what a play! That Backside, slide won't work, McHugh and Larinus. Third set, they have swung the momentum and then some. And it hasn't been BYU mistakes, it's been UTRGV. Their relentless attack. The oppo outside, Little. Preserves the th Comfortable if you can make a small run, that's great, but you're looking in to try and resettle yourself for set number four. Billiter. She's been no Second set point for the Vaqueros, and they finish it up. You can rest assured, we'll be keeping our eye on how they do as Mia Lee will start the serving off in the fourth set underway. Battle of the two winners from yesterday. Rio Grande Valley showing their medal early. And miscommunication from the Cougars. They do scramble to get it across. Savvy dump from Emiliano. Back and forth. Both teams out of system, but finding a way. Bauer in the middle. 
Aria McCumber serving for BYU. Tapped across by Paris Key. Good job to get first contact. Both teams exactly 36 kills through three sets. Bauer over to McHugh and Larinus. And the battle at the net is fascinating to watch. That did not the challenge, does go the way of BYU, so unsuccessful from Todd Lowry. Set up in the middle. BYU on the outside, and this troll on the way up at the peak of the jump, and then you're trying to make an athletic move as you come down, but you, your body unflexes as you're preparing for itself to land, and that's normally when your arms make that mistake and touch the top tape. Cougars up three, the block will go wide. We see the jump serve of Zet coming back. Bauer to Livingston finds the line. I like the energy this team is having fun. Let's see if we can get a better look at this replay here from this angle. We see the back row attack by Livingston. That's close. Five cameras here, uh, one for the net and one for each sideline um, that uh, go right down that line to be able to make sure they're out there. Isabento was subbed in. And Hannah Billiter serves it, nearly an overpass, Acro. It was Perez that was serving when UTRGV had the best run of this match by either side, and now the good job at the net, filling seams, reaching in, even though her body wasn't there, moving her shoulders all the way around. She has touched a lot of balls across the net and done a very good job. First touch, Y on the set, and you on the kill, and. It is like poetry in motion as the Cougars lead seven to four. On the outside they go, Livingston misses. Paris Key will serve. She went to Katy High School, out of Katy, Texas, so got to be a. Whitney Bauer, one of seven sisters. We saw one of them. Bounds, but the, off the side of the block for the kill. Ilana De Assis. BYU looked to set up the attack. UTRGV in response. It was the ball. She came to UTRGV from Missouri State West Plains. Bauer right to Kate Pryor and Pryor hits that middle ball. Cougs lead by two. Inaugural season in the Big 12. UTRGV out of the whack. Cougars led the West Coast Conference. They hit 300 last year. How did UTRGV get that over? Point still alive. Little was slowed down. The Caros just don't go away. Lee gets it across. The Caros on the attack in the middle, dug up in the back row by Livingston. One of the longer rallies we have had all match, all weekend long. Zek to a diving Hiapo. Outside they go Pryor. Dug up by Assis. Outside Zek again. Bauer. She'll set it up Hiapo. Left side Little. It's blocked. What a rally. Little try it again and finishes off the point. So made her BYU debut yesterday. Savvy dump from Emilia. As I, that ball looked like it was going to sail, and I'm not sure if she really, it didn't look like she was trying to take the high swing across that block. I think it was the R2 that had the touch on that ball. Little on the outside. Good job by the Vaqueros. They're at the net making BYU work for everything today. Bauer, McHugh and Larinus. Five. Save BYU and keep the lead at three. Aria McCumber, a nice moment between the coaches, Coach Lowry. Nadine Zek, four aces already. It's been a battle. We've seen a couple of these at the net today. Bauer winds up instead and catches the Vaqueros. 
Very little margin for error and very little separation. And good behind us, 13 to 11. You can tell it's getting tense. ETRGV not playing around here this afternoon. Hiapo to Livingston, and that was by out of 11. Outside they will go, Assis. In the middle, Livingston, another great dig from the scrappy. Run uh, and, and cover some ground. I, I think if it's airs like that, they can't let half or UTRGV on the other side, and, and they really are going to have to step up their game to close this out. Bauer, the senior, the lefty, started the serve. A side out for UTRGV, who has been victorious. They've been in these battles before. Grinding it out, Bauer over to Mia Lee. And Lee, one of six freshmen, two upperclassmen transfers. The mix of old and new for the Cougars as they enter the Big 12 this year. And another swing from Claire Little, the freshman, and before that. Can you put the ball on the floor? And she did enough to do that on that one. On the defense, Perez will get it across. Bauer in the middle, McEwen, Larinus. Double figures for kills. They're up a touchdown here, 21-14. Zek across, Bauer recovers. Little block, Livingston keeps it alive. McEwen, Larinus, back to Little for the kill. On 2-1, and uh, you can tell that the, the energy has kind of started to subside on their side. And it's the first time that has happened, though, in nearly four sets. They get the side out. And it is going to be exciting to watch her this season, what she can do in the WAC. Bauer to Aaron Livingston. Here comes Zek with the response. Tipped over to Hiapo. Outside, Little, and another kill. History. Any point in the match for the Cougars. Set in the middle. Great dig by Hiapo. Little a bit out of position. Gets it across. Perez does the same. Bauer, great set. Outside and slammed down by Claire Little. Fourth set has been all theirs. It's match point. Bauer to Little. They've been in the top 20 for 10 straight years, and you can certainly see why. Hiapo outside to Little, and that'll be the winning combination. The upset emotionally, you have to come down off that a little bit. And with Texas Rio Grande Valley, they had a lot of fight here today. And